We are almost in the mid of the year and we kind of know that panic will start setting in because we realize that we are not even halfway to our goals and some of us might not have even started on our goals yet. And when the year end comes, we'll have to look back and realize that we might not have achieved as much as we wanted and this might lead us to gaslighting ourselves, which is something not very healthy. But if we look back at all those years, we can see that things are pretty predictable just like the holidays. We know when the holidays are coming, we know that our birthdays are always on the same date, just in different years and on different days. But some things that we are not able to predict are things like the weather and when the monsoon season is coming and if it will ever snow in Singapore. It's raining got ice cubes, I can see the raining and come, 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 like glitch. And the same goes with our financial phases and it's not easy to predict but we do see some patterns and signs if we look deep enough. But how does knowing our financial phases patterns help us? Hi, my name is Jordan and welcome to the channel. And hopefully by the end of today's video, you kind of understand where your financial phase is. But let's talk about financial phases and why they are important. So throughout the year, there is money going in and out of our bank accounts and this happens to everyone but at different volumes. So for example, most of us tend to and will spend more money around the holiday periods like Christmas, New Year's, because of the presents and the parties. And when the new year starts in January, we start to look at our finances and set a budget and goals for the year. Or when family goes on vacation together, they tend to spend more because they are in different parts of the world, enjoying the environment, the company, and the good food. So some pattern can occur in spending and saving habits. So for example, a fresh graduate will probably live on a shoestring budget, focused on increasing their savings, as compared to an experienced professional who has a larger budget and it's more focused on long-term goals like getting a house or retirement. And something we have to understand is that everyone is very different because while the holidays and the years are the same, some enjoy spending more on traveling, holidays and gifts, and some will prefer saving up more money and only travel in the off seasons to get cheaper flights, cheaper hotel stays, and maybe less crowded countries. And there are some that will only travel when they've accumulated enough miles or points to redeem a free ticket. And there are some that will go big on their own birthdays every single year, which is something I do. So setting something like a birthday fund might be useful to have. You can contribute $100 a month, and when it's your birthday, you get to spend that money on anything that you want. So when it comes to such patterns, the signs are there and we just have to look for them. So if you landed a well-paying job in your early 20s, you might have spent more money lavishly and enjoy what money could have gotten you. Or maybe you are someone that just joined a fire movement and started contributing to your retirement. You might be saving very differently since the goal of these two individuals are very different. But what you need to understand here is that everyone is different and we got our own goals, our own priorities and we face different sets of challenges every single day. And by identifying these patterns and signs, we are able to better manage our finances and plan our expenditures beforehand. So for example, if you know that every year you will fly home if you are working overseas with gifts, presents and goodies, you are able to cut back on eating out and partying a few months before flying home so you have extra budget for the presents, gifts and goodies. And by keeping this habit, you'll be able to still enjoy yourself to the fullest without worrying about your cash flow because everything has been budgeted out. And speaking of habit, we need to talk about today's sponsor, Habitree. So you guys know that I'm a lazy person and I like to get paid regularly from various investments that I have. And when we make profits in our crypto space, more often than not, these profits either sit in stable coins that yield a small interest. But at the end of the day, there is no capital appreciation. So this is where Habitrade comes in. So Habitrade is the first crypto-friendly global stock investment platform that allows you to trade stocks available on the NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, and the Hong Kong Exchange. This means that you're able to purchase your favorite stocks like Tesla, Procter & Gamble, Apple, and much more. But one of the most unique features of Habitrade is the ability to transfer stable coins like USDT directly into Habitrade platform and start purchasing these stocks with a few taps of a button. This means that our profits will now be put into the stock market where we can get gains from the growth or if we purchase dividend stocks, we get paid in dividends. The interface on Habitrade is simple and easy which is something I really really appreciate. Being simple and easy also means that beginners or people who are looking to start investing can start using their crypto gains to diversify into stocks that hold much lesser risk. And one feature that I really like about Habitrade is the news tab. 
So the news tab gives me an up-to-date news and also shows me the price changes of the stocks that are mentioned in the news which is a great way to get bite-sized information. The trending page also shows you the latest trending stocks in the market that you can consider looking into as well. And by signing up with the link in the description down below, you get a free stock worth $5 when you make your first purchase of $300 in stocks. And if you purchase more than $1,000 in stocks, you get a free stock worth up to $20. And on top of that, you get customized market intelligence to help you make informed trading decisions. But most importantly, always do your own research before investing any money into any investment instrument. So once again, thank you Habitrade for sponsoring today's video. So now we know that we can start planning ahead for things and keep our budget so we have healthy cash flow. But then sometimes life will throw a curveball and these are where unplanned events happen. So unplanned events could include things like wedding, concerts or meal with colleagues and can pop up ever so often. But since we have already planned out the expected expenses, this unplanned one shouldn't be too hard to manage because we can always find ways throughout the year to save for these unexpected ones. So there are three financial phases and do understand that these phases do not necessarily tie to your age like what many will assume, but the phase is more of a reflection of where you are in life. So the first phase is build and grow. The second phase is transition and the third phase is distribute and deploy. So in the build and grow phase, we can decide on our long-term goals and plan for them. So some questions like, is saving for retirement a top priority or having money for an investment a top priority? And from there, we can work out a plan to either start saving for retirement with various instruments or look into other investment instruments to grow our wealth. But do remember to keep this plan realistic so that you do not wear yourself down and start feeling sorry when you don't hit those goals. The build and grow phase is also about protecting your future earnings and it might be good to start looking into things like life insurance, hospitalization insurance, personal accident insurance. So this is a good time to look at life insurance to create an estate plan for you and your family. So the second phase, which is the transition phase, is where we start to understand and figure out what we can do with the funds that we have saved up from the previous years. It is also a good time to start thinking of how we want to live out our retirement. Ideally, having a budget will allow you to understand your monthly expenses so it gives you a rough idea of how much you require to live on every single month. And people in this phase will start thinking of different moves they can take, like buying your own home, downsizing or upgrading your homes, some might even buy a second home elsewhere in the world. At the same time, it's also critical to assess how much risk you are taking in your portfolio. And at this stage, it's really a good time to work out a plan to protect your assets in the event of a black swan that can tank the market like in 2020. And we wouldn't want our hard-earned money to be lost overnight. Because losing these funds will extend our time in the transition phase and delay us from moving on to the next phase. Lastly, we reach distribute and deploy. And chances are, once we reach this stage, we are more or less well-funded in our own perspectives and probably have enough excess assets. And now the challenge is thinking of how you're going to leave a legacy. So leaving a legacy can be things like donating to charity foundations, personal gifts to loved ones, or even leaving them an inheritance. No matter what financial phase you're in, planning and preparing for the next step will always yield positive results. And the better you articulate your goals for both the long term and the short term, the more likely you are able to achieve them. And assessing which phase you are in and adjusting your plan is an ongoing process. And some might even jump between phases multiple times. But we ourselves will know the phase that we are in after we have clearly articulated our goals. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope this video has brought you some value. Do drop a like if you haven't. Subscribe to get more of such content. And share this video with your friends and family so they can find out which phase they are in. And on the way out, don't forget to check out Habitrade to get your free stocks. And I'll see you in the next video.